What's up everybody? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm Buddy Blackford and today we're going to learn how to create shape layers out of our text. And it's going to be pretty cool. So when you convert a type layer into a shape layer, um, the type layer is actually converted into a layer with a vector mask. So pretty much what happens is Photoshop fills the layer with the color of the text and then creates a vector mask to define the type. So it turns it basically into a shape. So it's pretty cool. And you have the ability to manipulate the image as a vector shape, but you aren't a bit, a bit, you lose the ability to edit the type. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and use this. Um, so you have like the advantages of a shape layer, but then you lose the advantage of being able to edit the type. So go ahead and um, write out your shape layer, or write out your text layer. And go ahead and select your layer over here. And then we're going to go to the type menu by right clicking and go to convert to shape. And you can see now that this is converted to a shape. We have um, a path that has been created. We can delete out this word path that's old. And we have this Bucky's Room.org shape path that has been created. Now that the text is converted into a shape layer, I can edit it with some of my uh, vector editing tools. So if I click on my direct selection tool here, and then click on the letters, you can see that the letters are uh, have uh, points, and then you can edit them that way. If I go to my path selection tool, I can select uh, my paths and you can still see all the points as well. And you can manipulate these letters any way you want with uh, the paths and move around each letter like that. That's pretty cool and handy and pretty uh, handy if you want to like make like a wacky like looking thing there and move your letters around. So uh, let me do this real quick. And there you go. Now you got some wacky like lettering there and then it's all contained into one shape layer which is pretty nice. And if you ever need to put them back you can just uh, move the shapes or move the paths and everything like that back to where you were or where they were. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you for this and uh, that's how you convert a shape layer to a path and you can see some of the advantages of that. So thanks a lot for watching this tutorial and have a good day everybody.